And I want to ask you about the EHR market. Where does the EHR market go from here? Do we end up with like three players, four players running the entire operations of every hospital system in the country? Or do you think we're going to see something different emerge? Is there going to be something that breaks out of the pack? Well, first of all, I would be remiss if I didn't say thank you. You were an early client of ours at Allscripts. You were great in terms of not just being a client, but you helped us make the system better. And so thank you for that. There was a lot of innovation that occurred with us working together, and we appreciate that. Where EHRs are today. So first of all, I think that electronic health records were a necessary but not a sufficient condition. We had to get all of the information electronic to take the next step. But the next step was about making the user interface much easier for doctors and other caregivers. And on the back end, using all this new information to create insights from the data, just as we did at Lavanga. The industry was moving along. We had a 20 plus billion dollar stimulus, courtesy of the government. That allowed us to really accelerate adoption, which was critical. We had to get that information electronic to take the next steps. But then the industry kind of stagnated. You saw a lot of the leaders, the most innovative people in the industry leave. And so today, what you have is electronic health records that are fundamentally big, dumb data repositories. Okay? They aren't easy to use. I mean, think about having spent the last six years in Silicon Valley. If you said to anybody, your system is so complex that you need a scribe to help you enter the data, talking about Epic, they would look at you and say, that's the picture child for bad software, that it's so hard to use that you need somebody else to operate it. There's no other software in almost any other industry that's so hard to use that we need somebody else to sit next to the terminal and use it. And so... One, we didn't fix the front end and make it really easy for doctors to use and really valuable. And on the back end, we surely haven't used data science to say to doctors, here's three things about this patient to discuss with her, or discuss with him, and here's the recommended treatments. You still use your judgment, but we haven't served that up. So most doctors think of the electronic health record today as a necessary evil as opposed to a valuable tool. Like when we did e-prescribing at Allscripts, eventually doctors understood you should never write a prescription without drug to drug, drug to pregnancy, all the interaction data, knowing whether it's on formulary, and you could send it electronically to be filled so there were no handwriting errors. I mean, doctors grew to love that. It was challenging early on to pry their script pads out of their hands. But when I left, we were doing a few hundred million electronic prescriptions. And that we knew saved lives and we knew improved the processes and so did the doctors. They never had that same feeling about electronic health records because they didn't make them better and smarter. So that's still coming. So what we're seeing is coming out of Silicon Valley, there's some leading companies, Comure happens to be one of them. And what they do is they sit on top of an Epic or a Cerner or an Allscripts, and they are the apps layer. So they make it easy to write apps, to interact, to do all the things, to do the data science. So I don't think we're going to rip out the Epics and Cerners, but I do think all of the innovation is going to come around them. It's not going to come from them. 